Babu. 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 He's happy. He's happy. He's happy. We gotta race them. Okay, let's go. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna race. Hi. I'm vlogging here. Baby Tart's got Bro Tart in here cracking up. Oh, okay. We're gonna race. All right, let's go. We're racing. Yeah, my parents in here cracking up. Oh, Hi, Mom and Dad. They're so We're happy. We're gonna race. Okay? <laughs> All right, let's explain what's going on here, Pete Tizzle. We're in the back of the truck because it's so windy, and we're at the beach, and it's really Hiding because it's like a sand blaster on your calf muscles. You walk out there and there's probably two feet up in the air, sand just blasting across your legs because the wind's blowing so hard. And Rock Tart hates it because he's right at that height. So he goes, Dad, I need sunglasses because the sand is getting right in his eyes. Colette took her parents down to walk on Venice Beach to check out all the crazies. And me and the kids are just here hanging out at the beach. Suntar just played some soccer. Who won? Just real quick. What's a recap of the score? You. Oh! It was 9 to 10. Granted, I did have rock tart on my shoulders the whole time. You're not going to tell him that, bro? No. You're not going to give him that little bit of information? I was carrying another human on my back while I beat you? <laughs> Dying, son! But we're going to go out to eat, which I'm really excited about because I'm on day 5 of the Juice Plays! <laughs> rock tart, son, come say hi. They're just in the truck messing around. Hello, Jack, my sunglasses! <laughs> my sunglasses! Is that your boogie board nap bed? Here, hold on tight. You ready? Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa! No, no, no. You guys should follow me on Instagram. I'm getting some great selfies down here. All right, we're waiting for mom and uh, her parents to get back. They went down to look at shops in Venice. All right, it's time to eat. You ready to eat? Yeah. I bet you you're not as excited to eat as I am. Day five of the juice cleanse. I already know what I'm gonna get. A spinach salad. They have these really good spinach salads here. Hey. There's a turtle. You see a turtle? Where is he? I don't see him. Oh, well, there he is right there. Suntard caught him before. I was impressed. Suntard reached down and grabbed that turtle and pulled him out of the water. He has quite the wildlife man. All right, all the kids are getting here. Rock Tard wants Gage to sit next to him. Gage, will you sit next to Rock Tard? He's been excited for you to get here. Hi, Braley. How's it going? Why are your kids so obnoxious? Well, because they take after my husband. Oh, <laughs> it's like, wait a I mean, minute. it's super obnoxious and cute. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was so good. Have we liked their dinner? I had the, uh, what was it? The coconut encrusted mahi mahi with freshly steamed asparagus. Dang, it was delicious. Did you guys all enjoy your dinner? Yeah. Kaylee's about to poop out a dinner on Monday. That might not be the best term for it, but uh, no, it's not. and you guys also Colette feels sick and we think she's pregnant. No, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> Stop it. What if you are, babe? I'm not. What if you're pregnant? I'm not. We tease her every time she feels sick. We're like, maybe you're pregnant. You better not be pregnant. If you, you are, are, I want. You better not be. I'm pregnant. Rock tard. Do you want another little sister? Yeah, this one I have. What do you have? Magnets. Magnets. Say magnets. Magnets. Okay, good. He has a ball of magnets. If we had another girl, then we'd have three boys and three girls. That'd be like the Brady Bunch family. It'd be perfect. What should we name our new baby girl? Um, heroina. What do you want to name our new baby girl? What's on heroin? You're not having a baby. Okay, we'll meet you at the movie theater. No, okay. Can, can, can Avia ride with you guys? Okay. Sorry, AB asked first. You can ride in my truck, Gage. You can ride in my truck. Yeah! Best buddies. Yes, you can. Go ahead. Put your seatbelts on. Girls, behave. Put your seatbelts on. Casey, punch them in the face. They don't behave. Punch all the girls in the face. Okay, we'll see you at the movies. All right. Who wants to make out with me? Who's out here that wants to make out with me? Maybe you're pregnant. She might be pregnant. Not. You guys want to see my trick? Watch this, ready? Ready? I don't like it. Kiss me. He puts the whole. Hey, stop like Cam. Stop like Cam. You guys ready to go to the movies? I got the boys. I got the crazy boys. 
So we uh, just went and had some dinner, and now we're gonna go see that movie. Uh, what's it called? Heaven, Heaven is real. Heaven is real. No, we already saw that movie. What? When we were at the restaurant. Oh, jeez. Rockstar, he needed, so I think he needed help wiping his butt, and so he ran out of the bathroom in the restaurant, butt naked except for his shirt, and he was trying to cover it, and then he got back up. Did you see him trip? I didn't see him trip. I oh, did. The Basically, Rockstar ran through the, na the restaurant butt naked. We'll tell you more <laughs> later. We gotta go. <laughs> Stoplight cam. Stoplight cam. Okay, Rockstar, were you embarrassed when you ran through the restaurant naked? Yeah. Were you embarrassed? <laughs> So there we are. We're all eating, right? <laughs> Rock turd just disappears. This is what kind of horrible parents we are. Because we have eight kids and six adults, so there's like 13 of us or something. Just... Rock turd just goes to the bathroom himself. He comes running back to our table with nothing on but his shirt. Mom, I need help. Mom, I need help. And he, like on his way, he trips. So what? So? so you needed help wiping your bum, so you just ran into the restaurant, huh? Yeah. Were you embarrassed? <laughs> yeah, I'm eating my food, and I'm get an umbrella, and I was naked. Yeah. <laughs> I was naked. She's off my pants off. <laughs> Gage, are you embarrassed about your cousin? Because I was naked. <laughs> Do you remember having moments like that when you were a younger kid, like potty accidents? I remember being at a family reunion and accidentally pooping my pants and being so embarrassed to tell anybody and trying to figure out how I was going to clean it up. Nasty. Oh, oh, you have oh, moments like that where you had accidents oh, when you were younger? Oh, 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 I did. I do. When? What happened? Um, I was at preschool. Oh, gotta go. It's green light. Stop light cam. Stop light cam. Okay, Gage, let's hear about your embarrassing time in preschool. In preschool, I peed my pants, and then it was recess, but I didn't play the whole entire time. So what'd you do when you had pee in your pants? And then it was time to go, and then we were at the table, and I was sitting down, and, and then somebody I liked in my school um, was just looking at me. A cute girl? Yeah. And when she saw you? Did she see you pee your pants? No. Were you so embarrassed? Yeah. Were you nervous? So what did you do? Did you get new pants, or did they dry out? Neither. <laughs> Here, take. I gotta go. Suntard, you grab the camera. Okay. And then I told my mom. What'd she say? She kicked my butt. <laughs> she did? How hard did she kick it? Harder than heaven. What? Up to heaven? Harder than heaven. Harder than heaven? Does heaven kick butts pretty hard? Yeah. At least it wasn't harder than hell. <laughs> <laughs> Another beautiful weekend evening here in sunny Southern California. Look at those palm trees. Look at those palm trees. Get the palm trees. Ready to go to the movie? Yeah! You guys, check it out. It's Kurt Hugo Schneider, fellow YouTuber. Check this out. This is cool. This is a Coke commercial done by YouTubers. I saw this as a pre-roll, I think. So proud of you, Kurt. Kurt's making big things happen, you guys. Movie was awesome. So good. Check this out. You don't see this in LA very often. Toyota Tacoma, Nissan Titan, Chevy Silverado, Toyota Tundra. It's truck row here at the movie theater. There's rarely you see big trucks like that. But I wonder what all these guys thought as they parked. They're like, yeah, this is the truck area. What'd you think of the movie, dude? That was good. Did you like it? Yeah. <sighs> I liked it a lot but you know how I feel about Jesus. Go see it, Heaven is For Real, with Greg Kinnear. He did a great job, good actor. I cried, I, I cried, I was just telling Suntart, I cried probably six times throughout the movie. I had to bite my hat once. I, was, I fell at one point that I almost was gonna sob, so I bit my hat, like this. <laughs> I really did, I was biting my hat because I thought I was gonna like, <gasps> which I didn't want to do, so I like bit my hat really hard. And then my teeth hurt, because I bit my hat so hard. Is that weird? Is that, do you think I'm a weirdo? No. Okay, I love you. Love you. <laughs> I love you. Hey, how's it going? Uh, it's Sunday, got my necklace on. I'm gonna wear this, because today, I am giving a talk in church. I've been preparing my lesson, or it's a talk, like me and Colette get up and speak 
in church in our church um, members just take turns like we rotate there's not like one pastor or preacher it's like all the members just take turns and this week it's our turn so i'm speaking on prayer and colette's speaking on scriptures and i'm just going through old things and like looking up stuff and i'm looking through some old journal entries and i find this entry from february 23rd 2007 that's seven years ago just I'm going to let you guys read this. Friday again, Dave Ramsey says in one of his lessons that we should place our lives in a way so that we're not saying, oh yes, it's Friday and oh gosh, it's Monday. It seems those statements are related and based on one's job, is it an illusion that we could really be happy, excited, or even look forward to going to our place of employment? What if I did the same work, but I owned the business? So this is, you guys, while I still worked at a granite place before I started my own business, uh, before I started my own granite business. So then I asked myself, would I like it then? The two other granite jobs I did for myself made me feel free, and I didn't feel trapped or a slave to my boss. But if I did start a granite business, would that have any real meaning to my life, or would it just be a means of a way to pay the bills? I would be happier for sure, but would I be as happy as I could if I really had a business that made a difference in people's lives? That was seven years ago. Isn't that crazy? And I was still, I was talking about Dave Ramsey, and I was thinking about just doing something that I loved. And not just something that I loved that would pay the bills, but something that could possibly be a difference in people's lives. Hindsight is so 2020. And I truly believe that prayers are answered, because mine have been. <laughs> just looking through these old journal entries and reading the things that I used to, you know, talk about. They're everything that I still talk about today, but I've just been, you know, working towards them. Oh, look, I think who did this is this is this is Gavin taking upon himself my journal writing responsibilities <laughs> in February of 2007. How old was Gavin then? He was four. Four years, this is four year old Gavin. Look at this, I totally remember this. This was my weight, I was like trying to, I was even trying to stay thin then. It says, Mondays really are the worst day of the week for me. I start getting in a bad mood Sunday night because I know I have to wake up early the next day. Then I think about how I hate my job all day long and wish I was doing something else. I have to believe that someday I will find a career or a job that I love. I don't ever want to give up on that hope. We have already got four or five calls on the house and somebody is going to come and look at it tomorrow. We're trying to sell our house. So that house that we sold, I used the money that we made off of that house that we bought for $72,000 and sold for like a hundred something. I used that money that we made to start my very first granite business, which I talked about, you know, a few entries later about should I start my own granite business. But I really knew that I didn't want to have a granite business. I just knew I wanted to work for myself and that eventually... I wanted to have a business that made a difference in people's lives. It's possible. It can happen for anybody. It can happen for you. It happened for me. It just takes maybe seven years. Seven years. Can you work and pray and fight and not give up for seven years? I don't know. I did, and my dreams have come true. So now it's up to you. And then we gave our talks at church, and I stood in front of about a hundred people wearing my necklace because I'm a pretty, pretty princess. And we're back from church, just like that. I was gonna, like, maybe vlog a little bit. I don't know. I always feel weird vlogging in church or, like, places where a lot of people are that I know personally, because I don't know if that'll just be weird if I'm like, hey, guys, I'm gonna film this now. Anyways, we're home from church. Rockhart vomited during my talk. Cecily was there to help clean up. I, I did help clean up. After the vomit induced. And did you think? It went on me. I don't think spinning is a good hey, idea. Hey, rock tard. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little too much spinning. <laughs> Santar, did you think I gave a good talk? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. You're not just saying that because I'm your dad? No. Thanks, bro. What was the best part about it? Well, I kind of thought it was interesting about your companion, how he was so shy he didn't even answer the phone. Yeah, I told a story from my mission. Yeah, good story. Bounce. Dolphin. Ho ho! All right, now we're going to have a barbecue. Barbecue. Oh, yeah, with burgers. Not boogers. Burgers. <laughs> Thanks for clarifying that. <laughs> Look, Let's this is my sweater and it fits. Oh, right. nice. Let's so that, that's barbecue. How thin I am. <laughs> You're so thin. <laughs> Perform for us. La 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 la. La bravissimo. Yo namasa. 
Lot 665, ladies and gentlemen, a papier sham musical box in the shape of a barrel organ. Figurine of a monkey playing the cymbals in Persian robes. Lot 666, then, a chandelier in pieces. Peggy Yodel. Yodel -lo -lo. <laughs> nice jump. <laughs> We're at this park where we came and played basketball the other day, and it is so cool. There's an amphitheater. Vince, you need to play right here. This is where you need to perform your next performance. What do you see over there, quack quack? You see a ducky duck? Yeah. Do you like this Oh, there's a playground over there. You want to go see the playground? Yes, over there. Okay, let's go look at it. Look it. I see it. I know. That's why I brought I you here. see it. Yeah, I saw it a few days ago and Wait, I thought... no, look it. <laughs> you want look me to look? It. Okay, I'll look. Whoa, let's go see it. Okay, Mr. Ducky, we're going to go see the park. No, Dad, look it. There's a playground over there, duh. You think you can make it to the sand from there? Okay, let's see it. Wow, that was far. Can you do that, Sundard? Uh. Easy. <laughs> Give me a five, dude. You want to go the teeter totter? Okay, let the little brother on. <laughs> Wait, I have an idea. What if we can fit all the kids on one side and me on the other side? Should we try it? <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah, no, nobody's listening to me. Okay, fine. You guys hear me, right? Do you guys hear me? Are you listening to me? Check out Mr. Goose up here. That's a big bird on top of a fence. What are you doing, Mr. Goose? Did you see the big duck? It's a goose. A goose? <laughs> it's all the same. Ah. <laughs> They're just like perched up there. It's weird. I see a little blue eye. I oh. see a little blue eye in there. Oh, there it is. I see a blue eye. What are we doing? <laughs> Roger doesn't want to do it. <laughs> 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 you jumped off that. Okay, ready? Gavin, don't, don't use your legs. I'm just gonna hang on there. Ready? <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, come here, Rock Turkey. Ready? Use your weight. Oh yeah! Get your butt up! Oh, that's the way I need it! Oh, yeah, we're even now! It's like perfectly balanced! There's a lot of owl screaming happening! I'm glad I'm not on there! Oh no! That's funny. <laughs> Whoa, a pogo stick world. Boom, 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 boom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That should be a thumbnail. Oh, should it? Yeah. Yes, and I'm in charge of thumbnails and titles around okay, here. Okay, okay. okay, bounce, 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 bounce. Fun. <laughs> nice. Whoa. I don't know if I can get on here. Are you eating both of them? Into <laughs> karate kid. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. Can you just walk? Waddle, waddle, waddle. You're so little. Let's run it. We're coming. Yeah, kick her, Vincent. <laughs> There's a big tube. Here comes mommy. Mommy's waddling out and out. Waddle, waddle. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Lupus! See his face right there? That's the frog. Can you see him? I want to. He's poking his head up. You see him right there? Yeah. That's the frog right there. See him? There he is. 
Oh, I love the tree top in here. I want to be in one. Is that what he's saying right now? How do you know that? He's my friend and I know his name. What's his name? John. John the Frog? He's okay. my friend. Oh, hi, Frog. Hi, Froggy. You guys are cute. I'd eat that end slate any day because you know how I feel about watermelon. <laughs> Welcome back to Monday where the shaytards are thriving. I don't know what that means. Thriving? Well, that's a 20 minute vlog. That's pretty thrivy if you think about it. All right, thanks for watching. We appreciate it every day that you watch. Uh, you guys, I was just looking at the shaytards analytics for this month. We are already for this month and there's what, like three or four days left? most viewed month in Shaytard's history. We're right at 32 million views this month, and uh, that's the most viewed month ever in the history of this channel. For the last five, six years, this month, April of 2014, most views ever. So thank you guys so much. You know, I was thinking, uh, because, you know, there's some of you that don't hate when I talk about our religion and God and Jesus and stuff like that. What if, for those of you who are lived locally here in Los Angeles, I got the bishop of my local ward to agree to let us use the church building and we had like a meet and greet where me and Colette could give like a talk and kind of like talk about our faith. Would some of you come to that if we like had like an event, like a fireside chat kind of thing, if we organized it? If you guys lived here in the Los Angeles area and I told you about it, would you come to that? Let me know if you would or if you would not come to it. That's fine too. We still love you. All right, thanks for watching. Click on a video if you want to see more of our family. We love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.